Good morning, this is Nicholas from Gandora Gaming, and it's here, it's finally here. I would have made a video as soon as they got revealed, but uh, sadly, I had an interview I had to do for my job, and uh, I waited as long as I could, but here we are. We have the new gold pride cards. I already went over them. I watched a little video that was, uh, I think, Lithium or one of the other YouTubers posted. And the cards are insane. They're not what I thought we were going to get. But at the same time, I'm happy with the results anyway. And, uh, yeah, let's just go straight into this. So, first things first, we only have one main deck rider. Uh, of course, that is kind of sad, but at the same time, not. Because, again, we only got one rider this time. But who's to say we don't get a rider for the, you know, the upcoming future? Uh, now, the rider himself is a psychic. Which is great, but he is level 5. So, if you don't have a way to lower your life points, he is a brick in hand. But, he is really, really cool. So, basically, he's a level 5 psychic. So, any 3 punk equals an 8, which is pretty amazing. Not to mention, it also has an effect where you can quick fusion on either your or your opponent's turn. Which is absolutely pretty amazing. Because we have actually a busted ass fusion monster. Which I can't wait to get into because this fusion monster is absolutely insane. Uh, my friend Mark has been wanting a fusion monster for this archetype for the longest time. I thought it'd be cool if we got another synchro, but you know what? I'll take a new XYZ and a new fusion. So actually, let's go over the new fusion monster. So first things first, it looks like it, it's our kinetic boy. He's in a big ball. And basically, he has the effect of our, he gains, uh, basically, he absorbs monsters your opponent controls up to the number of materials you use so if you use two gold prides he's guaranteed absorbing two monsters your opponent controls and if your life points are lower than your opponent your opponent cannot respond to this card's activation this guy has a 3000 attack and he just equips your opponent's monsters onto him which is pretty insane imagine you're going against uh mirror jade and stuff and you're like oh no worries i'm just gonna equip you to me uh really really solid effects overall and it cannot negate it Really, really solid card there. Um, it does have the effect after this activation, it does return itself back to the extra deck. All the extra, uh, all the extra deck monsters do that, but it's actually a benefit because because you're adding it back to the extra deck during the end of the turn, it allows you to then remake it uh, the next turn, and you just continuously absorb their monsters. It's a really, really cool removal. And the fact that as long as your life points are lower, they can't respond to it is absolutely insane. So, uh, yeah, this card is amazing. So, let me keep going with the amazing cards, and we'll go from here. So, next things first, we have the new XYZ. Uh, this XYZ is absolutely amazing. Uh, basically, it's our Spell Searcher. It requires any two level threes, so it's very, very generic. And basically what it allows us to do is that it allows us to search a gold pride spell. There's a lot of really good gold pride spells we can search. Um, we have a new continuous spell, a new quick play spell. Uh, of course, we have the normal spell that we already had from uh, the first wave. So we have actually three new spell cards that this card can search, which is absolutely insane. Adding the consistency of this deck uh, even to more and more levels, which is absolutely great. Um, this card does return itself to the extra deck, which is fine, because it is just a generic level 3. Uh, the fact that punks and gold pride can make 3s really easy is perfect, and I'm so happy they created this card, because this card is just an extender slash combo starter, and, uh, yeah, it's just, uh, you just combo and combo and combo and combo, and your opponent can't do anything about it, which is pretty freaking amazing, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I do like that they, they kind of trade themselves. Like, yes, it adds itself back to the extra deck, but that's fine because they allow you to summon ones from other places, which is absolutely insane and overall a fantastic effect. I do want to go over the names, by the way, because I haven't mentioned them yet. So first things first, the new pilot's name uh, is Gold Pride Roller Baller, which is a badass name, by the way. And uh, the other one, his XYZ's Pinballer. Uh, he's a pinball. Makes sense. And like I said, if your life points are lower, he just absorbs monsters. If you use three gold pride monsters, you are literally taking their field and absorbing it. 
which is pretty insane. Not to mention, he is a 3,000 attack. I do wish he gets a gain attack for every card he absorbed, but what can you do? He already is non-targeting, uh, non, uh, Basically, he's, he can't be negated. He's he's basically super poly on legs, which is kind of amazing. It's actually kind of stupid. Uh, what's it called? The new XYZ is Chariot Carry. Uh, that's her ride. Like I said, adds any gold pride spell as long as your life points are lower, which is easy and punk. And then it also has a effect where you can send one gold pride monster from your deck to graveyard. And you're, you're probably wondering, why would you want to send a gold pride to grave? Because they don't really have graveyard effects. Well, you do. Leon loves the reborn uh, gold prides from Graveyard. So the fact that you're going to summon out Leon, Leon, get uh, yourself uh, the pinball chaser guy. Uh, what's it called? Uh, roller baller. And then roller baller quick fusion on your opponent's turn to absorb their monsters is absolutely insane. It adds even more dimensions of interruption to the deck, which is absolutely fantastic. Now let's go over the new quick play spell. Uh, gold pride... That came out of nowhere, which it absolutely did. So this card is basically reborn. Uh, special summon one gold pride monster from your hand or graveyard. Then your opponent can special summon one monster from their hand or graveyard to the field, but negate its effects. You can only use this effect once per turn. I don't know if we'll be playing this card. This card's cool. I like that it's a quick play. Uh, There's even more interruption because you can quick play reborn on Leon, Leon reborn pinballer, pinballer quick fusion. And then disrupt your opponent that way, or you synchro. There's so many ways you can do it. It's pretty awesome. But I don't know. I just feel like there's so many ways to get cards from the graveyard. I, I think this might be a one of. I, I It's really cool. I really like it, but it, it's all right. Uh, the other card, I just noticed all the spell cards besides the continuous are quick plays. Uh, if I remember correctly, not start your engine. That's a trap card. But the uh, gold pride... What's that spell card? Now, we weren't playing it until now, but we are definitely now playing it because it's so good in the deck. Gold Pride. Uh, let's see. What is this card called? Gold Pride. The crowd goes wild. So they're all... Oh, actually, this one's a normal spell. Every other spell is a quick play spell. So you have one normal spell, two quick play spells, and a continuous spell. So now this one's a quick play. This is Gold Pride Pearl to the Metal. Uh, target one gold pride monster control until the end of this turn it gains 500 attack. I can't be destroyed by battle or card effects uh, And it can't activate the effects which is eh, Okay, uh, then during the end phase if you target a face of gold pride monster control that was destroyed by battle or card effects uh, You can set this card to your graveyard. I see this one is either one of or don't play it at all the idea of it is that Once you activate your gold pride, they all have the effect of return back to the extra deck so the idea is that if you activate this, you can keep it on field because technically you're negating it, which is kind of cool. And it also can't be destroyed by Battle of Card Effects. But, eh, I don't know how good that is. I honestly think that Pearl to the Metal probably be one we're not playing. But I can definitely see it as a cool one-of that we can search out to protect ourselves. The same thing with the other one, the Reborn. Really, really cool. And then finally, we have the actual best spell card we got. Gold Pride better luck next time uh i guess this is after the fact that uh our little racer boy lost because uh basically he was riding down a bike and then i guess he got messed up but uh when this card is activated add one gold pride monster from your deck to hand so now we have two ways uh, to search a gold pride monster and then of course you lose life points another great card the fact that it loses your life points is exactly what gold pride needed now i do wish that the monster did that as well we only have two ways to do it in this continuous spell and the main spell, uh, which isn't bad, but I just wish there was a little bit more. Of course, punks lower your life points as well. But if you're playing against like Hero that like pays half, it's going to be really hard to play the game. And uh, I still think this card is awesome. Uh, it also says, uh, let's go, add one gold pride monster for your deck to hand. If you like, lose life points, equal to its attack. And then if a face of gold pride monster control, I will special summon the extra deck returns to the extra deck, draw one card. You can only use each effect once a turn. So basically, on activation, it adds you a gold pride, which is amazing. And then every time your gold pride will return itself to the extra deck, you just draw one, which is also amazing. So overall, a really, really great card. I wish it was once a turn. Every turn, it just adds one. It's kind of like the tanky of the deck, but who cares? I like this whole return gimmick. It's really, really cool. 
and overall a fantastic card. And then finally for our last card, we have Gold Pride, the neck and neck. It is target one Gold Pride monster control and one Gold Pride card in your graveyard. Accept Gold Pride, neck and neck, return it to the hand. If your opponent's monsters have higher attack than your life points, banish this card uh, and one Gold Pride monster in your graveyard. Spell summon one other Gold Pride monster from your extra deck that mentions the banished monster's name. You only use each effect once a turn. I think this artwork is probably the best artwork out of all of them. And basically how he was explaining in the video, it helps you like get off the field in order to like do things. For example, um, if your opponent tries to negate your wheeler, because the wheeler is the effect of fusion summon. They try to like, let's say imperm or, or ash or, well not really ash, imperm or veiler or just baron negate. Well not on the baron doesn't work. Or, T shell. Let's think, let's think sword soul methods. Sword soul target to negate. Well, you have to make gold pride neck and neck, return it to hand. It's still fusion summons because they can fusion summon from hand. And then you just get another gold pride from grave, which is really, really cool. And overall, really, really amazing cards. Not to mention, I should also mention this. Not only is the new rider a level five, but I believe pinballer is an eight. Uh, yeah, Pinballer is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, not, no, it's 9. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it's a 9. So any 3 plus this is a 12. So now we have access to 12 plays. Now, I don't think you'll be using this for 12s. You're most likely going to either make this on your opponent's turn or to break through a board. But either way, this card screws your opponent big time. This is definitely going to be a 1 of or 2 of in a deck just so you can interrupt your opponent amazingly so that's really all i have i definitely can't wait to tinker with this deck and how to go from here anyway i hope you all enjoy don't do anything stupid and i'll see you all in the next one time to go start tinkering and i'll have a deck profile for you shortly <laughs>